Hey, how's it going? Today I'm going to alter the trailer a little bit because the new bike is a little bit longer so I need a little bit more room and let's go do it. I need this to be more like the original trailer. Take that away and put an extendable part on. So what you didn't see happen was that the GoPro uh, fell off its perch, smashed, didn't actually smash, came apart. Uh, it's taken me a couple of days to find the memory card, so that was laying in the, um, in the shed. But it really flew apart, I haven't had a test of it yet, but <clears throat> just getting the stuff off the camera. And as I suspected, there would, wasn't enough footage <clears throat> but I will show you a finished product and go over all the bits and pieces and what I did and why I did it and uh, and I'll show you the picture of the bike on there and how the uh, the back tailgate is now closed while the bikes in there it's a lot more secure and that's all that I wanted so I think it's a success even if I did lose a GoPro so this is the insert panel. Pretty basic stuff. It's a 40 by 40 angle, 3 mil thick. And this plastic is from a wheelbarrow, so that's pretty tough stuff. This is our construction. We've got two upper support. This uh, thing is all one piece. I've just cut some V sections out and brought it together so that it goes around in that shape. Just perfect for the wheel to sit in. And that was made out of 90 by 90 posts. I'll just cut one side and flared out the ends as you can see there. They just flared outwards. Welded those on. Welded these joins. Uh, but I want it to be removable so it's got got the nuts and bolts there. It's also got two holding it onto the trailer plate and also put a tech screw through there. The downward downward force I've put this support underneath and it just makes everything really solid. That's welded there and teched there. So this thing won't be coming in and out all the time. So to remove it we've got one
empty. Three. Four tech screws. So these these nuts are probably overkill anyway because really if they come out they wouldn't actually affect anything with these tech screws in there as well. It's just added added support. Be actually good to uh, probably weld these bolts in. Okay, so that's with it all removed. Now put this plate in. You can see that it's got like a bit of a groove there. That was just left over from the last system that I had there. But technically you could cut your trailer like that. Cutting in here and leaving like a lip for this to go behind. So that sits in there, especially when I put it the wrong way. Alright, tight fit. Nuts and bolts back in. So there it is with the, the panel in there. So that very strong. Pull it down. It's pretty tough stuff. Alright. And we'll get the bike on it. Okay, I've got this chain to uh, lock the front wheel and I just realised that I needed a, some sort of rubber to hold it. So I just got a bicycle tyre. Oh, awkward. You all 
Anyway, that's just the bicycle tyre. Put it around it. Push it right to the front. Just lock it around the front. Can't be pulled over. Just a little bit of extra security. Nothing too fancy. It's nice and easy. It has enough gap in there. It's not touching. All loaded. Sits in there nicely. It's not a huge amount of uh, room. I probably should have made it a little bit bigger, wider, but it doesn't uh, move around too much, <laughs> except backwards, but that's alright, everything's held in, the question is, uh, is it worth doing it for a money point of view? Yep, it's nice and cheap, and it works. Is it the best way to do it? No, nah, it'd be easier to go out and buy a purpose-made trailer, which I'll probably still do at some point, but why not do it yourself while you uh, can spend money on mods and all that sort of stuff. So that's my thinking at the moment. So it's a job well done. Okay, don't ask why I'm laying on the ground. Anyway, <clears throat> anyway, the job's done. Uh, I reckon it went really really good couldn't be happier and uh, that's it I'll see you on the next one